Good evening everybody, this is Rusty and Possum Bayou on YouTube. I'm just going to show you guys a few things I picked up lately. Mostly at a train show and show a little bit of a quick look at what I got in my train room here. And now on to the video and see the stuff. Here we go, I got, like I said, I got all this stuff at a train show back in March. Here is this little container crane. I paid five bucks for that little thing. And for these as well. It's a lot of ramp. And this guy is also the one that run the uh, back on track car on the uh, Pensacola layout. So these are all 3D printed. It's got the truck body. And this is auto carrier. They look pretty good sitting there. So I'm going to make sure to try to put those together. And the rest of this stuff, I'm going to show you. I got from this guy right here to try and show. I'm going to start, I'm going to get this coal barge. Now, I paid a dollar for all these things. If I didn't pay a dollar for it, I'll tell you in a minute. But this, I'm probably going to take it. It's one of them rosin cast things. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to make it, instead of a coal barge, I'm going to make it like gravel. And I have this. Now, this one, I, I paid about 10 bucks for it. It wasn't. Another rosin core cast kit. It's got all the little parts and all for the mast, everything you see there. So that'll be fun to do. Pack of these plastic coated wire armatures for trees. Paid a bug for that, and all the rest of the stuff I paid a dollar for. Uh, something to here to hold. Something while I'm working on it. I'm looking for something like that. And see if I can get to it. Yep. Some kind of little truck. This little Chevy truck. Some of those I may keep or may, may give them away or something. But that truck's a little bit newer in my time frame, but it might work. I got this little wagon of some sort. This little, got two packs of these little basically concrete pilings for a bridge. Some stairs, industrial type stairs. A rosin cast thing. Some miscellaneous rail car doors just sit around mostly for detail junk laying around another set of those doors and got like a little conveyor this, that's a actually a metal thing and there's the bollards or whatever for the barge that come out of the back fell out of the back uh, here's some some kind of a headlight there so i think i picked them up by accident but put them in my bag but bought them little utility trailer some more of those miscellaneous parts Plastic piece of roofing. Kind of awkward doing this one handed. And another one of those little carts. I believe the other one had a tarp on it. And here's some little box, boxes, I believe, stacked. Trash piles, they call it. And then I got several of these scale model 
strip corrugated metal. Be good to make a little things out of. That one was a 10 foot wide. This is 7 foot 6 wide. I got another 7 foot 6 wide one here. 14 foot wide, a little wider. Yeah, make little buildings or something. I would use it for roofing material. Seven and a half feet. Then this one is a rough wall cast. It's kind of like the, uh, it's like a cement with exposed aggregate rocks in it. That's a dollar for that. And it's got like four pieces in it, it looks like. Here's something similar to it. Except this one's brick. Be making some little buildings. Here's another pack of the bridge pairs. And window treatments. For various little buildings. All these seems to have been on that one has a dot com address, email address, or a website address on it, but there's some of these that do not. Okay. And another piece of, I think there's, yeah. And it's just like a, you can see like a heavy stone white wall. Nice sheet of plastic there. And I got this little thing here. I bought this from somebody that was had a table out there just selling their own stuff out of there. And yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like one of the micro engineering kits. That's what it looks like to me. Either oh, micro it's a kit it's a Modified microengineering, or uh, I can forget the other name, brand name it does those. And uh, I'll open this up for a minute. I got this train master from Tucker's Train Supply while he was at the show. Take it out. I actually run this thing, not on my layout, on my friend Glenn's layout, and at the train show on the modules. A nice looking Fairbanks Morse train master. Kind of was look, been looking for a train master, and I like that paint scheme. I just like those locomotives for some odd reason, and I just love that paint scheme that's on it. It's got a lot of. See, looking at it, it's got a lot of detail in the writing and everything on it as well as the grill work and the louvers and all that. And that was all I got from Tucker's trains. Yeah, but this thing should be a pain to open. One handed anyway. And Mississippi Chemical Corporation. Yazoo City, Mississippi. Now there was at one time such a company. I don't believe they're not. I haven't been in operation for the last five or six years. And I happened to get the other one. They had a couple. And I already had a couple more. But and I also picked this one. I got these from uh, the Hummingbird Hobbies. And I believe they mostly are online and train shows. So that's kind of what I picked up at the train show. Let's Here's something I picked up from Mike Pfeiffer a while back. These things are pre-wired. See if these work better than the other stuff I've been getting. Code 55, number 6. I have 12 of them. So maybe that can work with the uh, Atlas stuff I already have. Hopefully they're... I believe I will like those better than the Atlas in microengineering. And that's about what I have. 
And we're gonna turn around here look at the mess on my workbench there. And just a quick run around the room. I've kind of gotten everything kind of started back. Oh, now this little thing here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's like 12 inches wide. But I said we'll have to put the blue foam over there. Just getting a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to do. I've actually started putting, I got to, and what I'm going to do here is that building is not going to be there. It's probably going to be over this way or somewhere else. I just had it sitting there. But this area right here is coming out. I'm going to put some foam on there. There's going to be like a river and stuff in there. It's going to be pretty neat. And then you got over here. Paper mill is going to be over there. And I'm going to have to add the blue foam on that. That building may or may not be there. I'm not real sure. And this is probably going to be sitting at the end right here. When I put some legs on it. That's a neat little thing. But when I built these, I built them where I could have shelves. Now that one has shelves, but that little area right there, I made it just so I could put that plastic item with the drawers in it to be out of the way. Got various stuff under there, and you can put stuff underneath it too. I still got a little bit more organizing to do and cleaning to do in here. But if you're gonna build it, that's why I built this like this instead of a shelf. I didn't want to really put a whole lot on my walls back there. But as a standalone thing, I had a place I could build shelves under there, have it. I had that back in there on that little shelf back there would be for stuff that I probably don't use very much. And here's some more of my track pieces. To be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, that's little thing on this end right here usually comes apart. And if you look right there, just north of where my thumb is. Little pivot point, there's some little rail joiners there. They come apart there too. Actually, these, these are a little better, but you still need, looks like that one's got a malfunction in it right there in the pack. Lord, that's the problem with those. There's that one. So hopefully those other ones will be better. And this curved track about what I'm going to try and keep my curves at coming around off of here. These things will be a little bit longer sweep. Trying to get that focus in, but anyway. Crap, almost dropped it. The 15 inch. I got a 21 inch one too, but I thought I was using 21 inch on that. But anyway. And you pretty much you just, yeah, that's not the 15 inch, that's an, I'll use the other one. Basically what you can do is just push this in there. Do I have, I don't know where I have it right here, but, but I'll be using some of these. And what I actually have is some of those can boost industry ground throws, but the, I have a bunch of them that have the uh, contacts in them, but you got to build those. So I'm hoping I can do something with those power the frogs and all or not. I'll just be have to go back to just the plain ones, but there we go. I'm done in here. I've got a TV so I can watch it in there. I got off right now so I can do this video. I got that back over there. And where I put these together, I'm making these little braces. And reality is, this thing, it's not even tied to the wall. And it does not move anywhere. So I said, this will light them here. Probably going to be something. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Probably just don't know. It doesn't fit the plan. I said, this is sitting on top of that. It's going to be here. And there may be a lift out at the end of there. So there we go. So that is that. And I was going to use a little bit more of the room for layout, but I'm like, nah, I want to get this thing out of the rest of the house. So I got a couple of nice little lights on there. And it's just enough room to do little projects on. But I think what I'm going to do is I picked it up at the thrift store. So it's not like, but I'm going to try and put like a pegboard and a shelf on there so I can sit 
like soldering iron station and some other things on top and the tools where I can just have that open and just reach up and get the tools and I'll have a little bit of a pegboard up there. So I can work on stuff and have the TV going if I want to watch some train stuff on YouTube or a movie or whatever. But these old desks like this, I find them fair often at different thrift stores and consignment stores. They make pretty good for about 30 or 40 bucks. I think I picked that one up and you can make pretty good little workbench out of them. They got drawers and everything in them. So that's all for right now. I'll catch you guys later. Well, there's the stuff I bought and kind of where I'm at with my layout. I think those shelves are going to work for keeping stuff out of the, out of the way. I'm also going to probably put some kind of Velcro, some curtains over the front of those when I get to that point. First, I got to get this thing set up for trains to run on it. You know what I'm saying? Do a little bit of detail work. Put some embellishments, build a couple of nice little scenes. I kind of got it set up in my mind what I want to do. I just got to do it now. And until the next time I see you, I'll see you.